I think it's the one with the kid that blew his brains out, right? Or is it the vomiting girl in the tent? They're slow. Duh, that, oh, the mother. The they're, mother the mother that killed herself, right? They're slowly going into the kitchen. The best scene from Sixth Sense, I haven't seen the movie in a while. He was eating, oh, okay, yeah. he was eating cereal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then looks up and all the cabinets are open. Yeah. yeah. All, there you go. Oh, fuck. Fuck. God damn it. I can't. I don't like this. I'm all, I'm all chills. <laughs> no, no, vomiting girl in the tent. Let's go to Justin in Columbus. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> this is crazy. Justin. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. I, I decided to start working out again one night. I was down in my basement, and uh, I wanted to track my progress, so I went to my computer to make a spreadsheet. I was sitting there with my headphones on, had my music blaring, and all of a sudden, right behind me, and the part where a guy was screaming in the song, I heard this little girl's voice talking to me. The fucking hairs on the back of my neck stood up. I turned around real slow. Nothing was there, but, man, I booked my ass upstairs. <laughs> I, woke, I woke my wife up. You got all scared. <laughs> hey, did you, did you hear anything recently? She's like, yeah, you know, I thought I heard something out in the kitchen. My kids were asleep. I was the only one downstairs not doing anything. So she heard something, and I heard that little voice behind me. I wouldn't go to my basement for, like, Two fucking weeks, unless it was daytime. See, your own house, grown can man. Fuck you up, man. Yeah. Grown man. Grown man. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to see the bicyclist next to the window in the sixth sense. That's there out He's of not, nowhere. Skip that part. No, you did not. Yeah. No. Yeah, this is the safe part. <clears throat> this is not. This good. is the easy part. No, because because no, it's the easy part of the movie. Outside the car. No, no. And then and then they go back and and the the, the dead bicyclist is there. Holy shit. Why we, I'm I'm all creeped out now today. I oh, see nothing's going on. Come it's on. it's getting light out though. I could see. Yeah, that's much better. Though. Let, let's say hi to uh, Nick in Buffalo. Nick. Yeah, how you doing today, boys? Good man. I I used to be a bouncer, and I'd get home at two in the morning, and we lived in a wooded area. It was a townhouse in a wooded area, and you had to go down this wooded street to get to the actual complex. Well, one night I got home, and my wife worked till 8 in the morning, and I used to get home at 2. And as I was pulling up to my parking lot, I look up at my townhouse, and I saw someone in the window in the second floor of the townhouse. So I parked my car, because I wasn't going back through the wooded area now, and I got a lawn chair off my front lawn, and I sat in the middle of the parking lot till my wife got home at 8 in the morning. <laughs> in the middle of the parking lot. <laughs> another, another grown man scared of his own scared. house. Tough guy. <laughs> Big tough guy, afraid of his own house. Later, boys. Just sitting Later. in a lawn chair until his wife came home. Oh. Fuck, dude. I'm telling you, man. You want a Six, couple more of these or no? Six Sense was scary. Yeah, it was. That was fucking yeah. scary, man. Joe in Fairfield. Joe? Damn. What's up, boys? Hey. <clears throat> Listen, my daughter's never slept in a room, and all of a sudden she started sleeping in her own room, and my new house. So she's laying down, and then all of a sudden she runs in my room and comes in. And I said, well, what do, you, what do you come in here for? She said, well, Grandma, who passed away in 2006, no longer says goodnight to me, so I don't want to sleep in my room. Oh. And I, I can't have, I'm not going to have kids. Why? Oh. This stuff is too creepy. I'm not having kids anymore. Yeah, because the kids, that, no. these little fuckers, their brains are still developing. Yeah, so no. you, So they fuck you up ah. in the process. Ah, shit. We're too closed off at this point to... To see yeah, that the kids are still open. I'm not having kids. No, yeah, it's yeah, not. No, 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 I think it's no. their dumb little brains haven't fully developed. So what they, they, uh, they see some dumb thing and they think it's a dead person talking to them. No, no, no. Well, or I it's think a dead, dead person talking, are talking to them. I you think? think? Yeah. yeah, we're too closed off. Dead people don't talk to us, but they still. Believe. You're convinced? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna have kids. No, it's petrifying. You're right, Ant. Yeah, All right, let yeah, me yeah. say hi to Jerry in New York. Jerry. Jerry. Hello, hey guys. Uh, my folks always remind me of this story but we moved into my grandmother's house after she passed away i was about four years old and i'm in the bedroom playing it was my mother who passed away it was her house i'm in the bedroom playing my mom hears me talking to somebody so she just figures that it's little kids jabbering like they do jabbering away jabbering away and then all of a sudden she hears me say hey grandma let me have that hey grandma let me have that uh oh my mom my mom's freaking out. She's like, what the heck's going on? So she goes in there. My bedroom door is cracked. She peeks through the bedroom door. 
she looks in the direction that I'm looking at and notices that the rocking chair in the corner of my bedroom is rocking back and forth. I hate rocking chairs. Never chair have one. Worse. Yeah. The, why would you? Four legs on the floor. It's yeah. The why would you way. ever have a rocking chair that could easily start rocking? Yes. <laughs> Get yes. the fuck out of no here. No joke. <laughs> Needless to say, she grabbed me. She left. Went to the neighbor's house. Called my dad. And the joke is, that's what started the process of their divorce, because within a year, they were divorced. Damn. Probably just the wind. Who knows? Probably. I doubt probably. it. I doubt it. That's what I say all the time. It's probably the wind. You know, um... Sounds creaking outside. We wanted to do this before. Thank you. We wanted to do this before Halloween, but it, obviously it's going to be tough now. But uh, me and Bob Kelly want to spend the night in like kind of a hotel, <laughs> a hotel together, a haunted hotel. That's the excuse that we're going to, <laughs> of course, be Ooh. together. There'll be evilness going. Yeah, on. Yeah, a lot of evil. <laughs> evil. Uh, no, we want to. We want to like sleep in some fucked up. Deserted, like crazy, fucking, haunted, yeah, like a psychiatric old center, hospital slash King's old Park, prison, or... fucking something. What was that? Where's that place in Comac? Comac? Yeah, isn't there a place on Comac Road? That uh, King's Park? King? No, no, it's the other one, the other mental hospital that was closed down over there. Isn't it the same one? I think King's Park. No, King's Park is further. Yeah, it's that went down. It's south of the expressway on Comac Road. Okay. Ooh, very creepy. There's another one over there. Yeah, giant. It's like a giant really? building in the middle of nowhere. and Yeah, we want to stay in something like and that. And it looks for like... For the night. For the f just... whole fucking night. And he'll film with a stupid iPhone. Hopefully he'll hold the goddamn oh. uh, iPhone properly this time. And I'll film and uh, and, and <laughs> see what uh, happens, man. No. You want in? No fucking way. I'm trying to get a group of I us do that? together to do this. Me and Bobby are definitely in. Yeah. The whole fucking night. But it, it can't be a place that, that you know, has people in it. it no, no. You know what I mean? It has deserted, to be completely deserted. Guys. And old school, we got to walk around the whole fucking thing with flashlights. Little flashlights. And film the whole fucking thing, man. Walk into where they used to do the electric shock. Whatever. That, Pilgrim State, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, it's, okay. it's in two places. It's in Kings Park and the other part's in Brentwood. Yeah, Brentwood. Brentwood! Yeah, you go down like Comac Road and, and it's uh, there on the left, and it's a big stretch of road. Yeah. By the way, it's it's the only stretch of Comac Road that's like really got nothing much going on. Right. On either side, and then on the left hand side, it's a giant field, and then there's this little community almost of these old abandoned roads and little little uh, houses and buildings, and then this giant building in the middle that looks like if you wanted to fucking build a building that that was in a movie to be an insane asylum. <laughs> That's exactly what you really? build, because there's no fucking way well, any other building should look like that. Well, what, have they ever used it in movies? I don't know. Someone they, must have used it in should, a movie, because it look it is the creepiest fucking looking place. Right. Yeah. I, I and we always talked about going in there, like as kids and stuff. It's like, yeah, let's go over there. Never. Yeah, everyone's saying Pilgrim State. Can you walk Never. around that place? I think you can. Kings Park. They're making yeah. it harder and harder yeah, to walk um, around. Paul said he he's walk. They're allowed to hike through it. Um, but yeah. he said it's extremely creepy. You hike on Long Island? Where the fuck are you hiking? Well, hiking through the fucking psychiatric center that's closed down. Wow, oh, really? You probably walk in there and there's like gurneys, oh, fucking like 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 shit where people are just like strapped in chairs. And you ever see the Kings Park pictures scary. of the old like oh, uh, auditorium? Oh, yeah, with the mood, like the theater. Oh, yeah, right? with the and seats the, and stuff. The seats and yeah, it's all fucked up. Hey, Paul, have you been in the uh, building? He's coming in. Yeah, he went through it. He's just telling me about how there's walls that are falling down in the cells. There's gurneys and and like uh and and robes laying all over the place. Wow, uh, really? Uh, robes? No wore that. Hey, can you take me on a tour of this fucking place? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's open. It's open to the public. You can wander through it any time. It's it's the grounds themselves are fine. It's like any hiking trail. Right. But no, it's like really. uh, an old broken down community. Yeah, and as you walk through, you can look into the buildings, and some of them, you know, are half caved in or whatever. And there's old cells, there's gurneys all over the place. Not all over the place, but there's enough there. Still some equipment laying yeah. around, huh? Yeah, and the like cops will leave us alone. Floor. Yeah, it's open. It's a it's a public park yeah. now. And they just let everything fucking rot around yeah. it. Well, that's Absolutely. good. Public park with fucking mental institution, broken down mental institution around. There's wow. only I think there's one building up in the Kings Park one that's still active, and it's like a rehab or something. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's at the end of the road. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. That I big building on the left, years. though, is like the building it was just described. Yeah, just a I giant. took a picture of that last, uh, when was it? Last year sometime. Floors after floor of just lunatics yelling and throwing shit at each other. I drove through Kings Park with my wife and kid. She was not happy. No, She huh? was losing her Creeped shit. Creeped out, right? Well, it was, a, it was like one of these horrible kind of sort of rainy, definitely very cloudy days. Uh-huh. And so it was creepy enough, and then that building just, just like Ann said, looks like it's, it came from a horror movie. Have and she was so creeped out from the water. No, I uh, I kayaked down the Nisiquag. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the right river, and you could see it from just chilling on top of the hill oh, yeah. on a cloudy day. It'll freak you the fuck out. Yeah, it really will. It Pilgrim is. State Asylum. Uh, yeah, there's pictures of it that just look fucking creepy. Oh, really? Could you get those pictures there? Uh, so Sam. goddamn creepy. Just put Pilgrim State well, fuck, I wanna, Google. I want to go through there. At and least go, me and Bobby and it, could go through there as the sun's going down. Uh, look, look at the look at the one like um, no, go all the way far right, which is corner this? and up, up one. Yeah, that. No, that's pretty. That creepy. looks like the projects. Yeah, a little bit, but it's it's crazy. Looks, people looks place. like a place where you could get some crack cocaine. Where be the crack? Oh my god! Because that's where those people sell it. There's some crazy people in straight jackets mm-hmm. from 1936. Mm-hmm. Numbers on them. They're the, all dead, and ghosts are. Their ghosts oh, are in fuck there. Yeah, yeah. Those are all Whoa. the ghosts. Hey, why do they always have to give the mental uh, patient a whacked out haircut? <laughs> they give them like it looks like why. Uh, you know what they give him? The shemp from the Three Stooges haircut. <laughs> but why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just shave their heads completely? I don't know. Like having it all shaved weird on the sides like that. Maybe it's so you could get a hold of them. When Maybe so you know which, which ones are the crazy ones. Yeah, yeah, they got the crazy <laughs> haircut. Yeah, if they dress up like one of the guards or something, you're like, right. nah, you got the crazy haircut. I bet you that's why. <laughs> so you so know you which ones are the crazy them. ones. <laughs> Uh, shit. Oh, the uh, oh, the local rumor one. about the place is that they buried the the dead mental patients on the grounds. Oh shit! Oh, man. And um, no way. anyone who lives in the area around it, yeah, they're all mental patients that just had nowhere else to go when they closed it down. So they just kind of section, you know. So they just made the kinda... houses section eight, and they just live in the area still. Oh, I would believe that. Yeah, it is Brentwood after all. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> well, that's, that's true. One. Oh, Kings Park. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm all I'm all creeped out now. I'm like uh, I'm like a little scaredy cat today. Uh, now, well, it started because I was scared shitless in my own house today. Yeah, dog and I saw a ghost looking at me. What? Ghost wrote something in dust while I was working. Get the fuck no out of here. way. Thank you, Bob. Paul. Mark in Missouri, what's up? Hey, uh, it's a, like a two part thing, right? Uh, about twenty years ago, I was working on a house, and. Um, I was doing some work on the ceiling, so you got that sheetrock dust and shit everywhere. Well, anyhow, I had to go take a leak, so I went to the can, come walking back, and right there on the chair, somebody took their finger and wrote hi on it. Hi, yo, H-I. But there's nobody else in this house with me. Was it already there? Yeah, come on. No, no, because I was right there already working, and there was no footsteps except for mine. Oh. So, you know, me being the big brave guy I am, you know, I go get my pistol and put that fucker on my side. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't do anything against ghosts. Yeah, because no a, 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 a few people, a, a few very brave, look like real men, checking yeah. in, saying, I am now in the shower with my fucking pistol. You have the pistol. <laughs> but if it is a ghost situation, that ain't going to do shit. Yeah, ghost well, dude. Know, you know, you feel safe, right? But now check this out. Like 20 years later, I'm working in my bathroom. I pulled the vanity out. And as soon as I pulled this vanity out, as soon as I got it out from the hole in the fucking wall, some, there was like a forced whisper that said, hi. Not hi like in a normal voice, but just hi. Well, they're just waiting for you to say hi back. Yeah. Uh, I dropped the fucking vanity. <laughs> he dropped the vanity. <laughs> I dropped the vanity. Got my pistol again, all right? <laughs> this guy loves packing heat against the uh, ghosts. <laughs> this guy loves his pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's Mark. <laughs> you know, you do what you think, you know? You feel safer with something strapped to your side, right? Well, I got to agree with you there, but see, the ghost thing, now, I'm, you know, of course, you know, mate. Don't they but, slow uh, down if you if you pump some uh, fucking lead into No, nah, you know, the mass of... They're good against zombies ghostliness. and stuff. Yeah. Zombies. Yeah, got to fix a wall, right? Things like that, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, ghosts, you're pretty screwed there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. just the two occasions within, like, 20 years, you know? Two different houses. I just... 
I don't know, it just kind of freaked me out a little bit. I, I mean, I'm, I'm one of those, what you'd call,